Henry was working in his farmyard in Texas. It was a peaceful spring day. But his dog, Max, was unhappy. He hid under a tractor and would not come out. Henry wondered if Max was ill. Suddenly the sky went dark. Hailstones as big as golf balls pelted down from the sky. Thunder rolled and lightning flashed. Then came a deathly stillness in the air. Somehow, Max had known. A moment later, huge black clouds began to spin. They bubbled at the top like boiling milk. Dusts of wind blew straw around. Just then, a finger of cloud spiraled down from the sky. A twister. Henry stood rooted to the spot. The twister touched the ground. Mud and grass swirled up like smoke from a bonfire. That was only the start. The twister began to move. It skipped and bounced across the fields. It grew bigger, faster, and dirtier as it picked up mud from the ground. Henry watched in horror as the twister went toward his neighbor's farm. It picked up straw, trees, and even a farm truck. It spun them around in its funnel. Henry sighed with relief when the twister moved away. He thought he was safe. But then the twister changed direction right toward him. Suddenly, the twister was hanging right over Henry's farm. There was a noise like a rushing waterfall, then bang. The barn exploded as if a bomb had gone off inside it. Henry ran with Max to the cellar in his house. His ears were hurting and he could hardly breathe. That's because the air pressure inside a twister is very low. This makes people's ears ache and causes buildings to explode. Just as Henry reached the cellar, his front porch flew off with an ear-splitting crash. Then came a smash as the house windows blew in. Two minutes later, all was silent. Henry came up from the cellar. Furniture lay smashed on the floor. Most of the doors and windows were gone. Henry felt lucky to be alive. Neighbors helped Henry clean up. The twister did not damage the neighbor's house. Twisters can form when cold air meets warm air. The warm air is sucked up in a swirling column called a funnel cloud. It spins at great speed. Twisters contain the most deadly winds in the world. No one knows what a twister will do next. It can lift up a large truck and smash it to pieces, but leave small objects undamaged. A twister once picked up a baby and set him down safely 300 feet away. The baby did not even wake up. There are lots of strange stories about twisters. A twister once blew away a man's birth certificate. The twister carried it 50 miles then dropped it in a friend's garden. Another twister sucked up some roses and water from a vase. It dropped them in another room. But it left the vase on the table. One twister picked up a jar of pickles and carried the jar for miles without damaging it. Twisters come in many different shapes and sizes. They can be thin, white, and wispy. Or they can be big, thick, and black. They can even be in color. If a twister travels across a muddy field, 
the mud turns it brown and very smelly. Twisters can grow bigger and faster as they go along. Some look like they have a loop or knot in the middle. Some are wider at the bottom than at the top. Some are shaped like a tube. Others look like a slice of pie. Lots of people have seen a twister from the outside. But only a few have looked inside a twister and survived. A farmer named Will Keller once looked up into a twister from his underground shelter. Just as he closed the door of his shelter, he saw lots of mini twisters inside the big twister. These mini twisters can rip through a building and slice it to shreds. Twisters are also known as tornadoes. There is an area in the U.S. that is called Tornado Alley. It is famous for its deadly twisters. Up to 300 occur there every year between April and July. They kill more than 80 people. Twisters form during these months as warm air from the south meets cold air from the north right over Tornado Alley. Twisters are graded from 0 to 5 on a scale called the Fujita scale. An F0 damages chimneys. An F1 snaps telephone poles. An F2 rips off roofs. An F3 flips over trains. An F4 destroys even strong homes. An F5 leaves few things standing. In 1999, an F5 ripped through Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It killed 45 people. People in Tornado Alley are well prepared for twisters. Most of them have an underground shelter outside their home. Some people in Texas have a fiberglass shelter buried in their backyard. People without a shelter hide in a cellar or small room in the middle of their house. Gary England is a TV weather reporter in Oklahoma City. When lots of twisters are expected, Gary's team stays on the air for 30 hours or more. Scientists tell Gary what the weather will be. Gary can then tell viewers. The scientists use a computer to help them forecast twisters. The computer makes a picture that shows where a twister is and how fast it is traveling. The scientists can tell Gary what they think will happen. But storm trackers on the road know what is actually happening. These people risk their lives to find and follow twisters. Many of them have modern equipment such as a satellite dish. The trackers tell Gary all about a twister, where it is, and where it is going. They can even tell him when a twister is brewing. In the past, people did not know when a twister was coming. Today, the trackers and scientists give people time to find shelter, and hundreds of lives are saved. Thank you so much for watching this video. Congratulations on your dedication and good luck. Text read in American English. End of text by Easy English Abreu.